Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On Hot Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop them online in a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 300 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, so drop my comment below. I would be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or actually maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter of the channel. Now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make your Shopify store very unique and professional without having to rely on those expensive team or hiring those expensive developers or actually this video will give you an example or even worse paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects or i give you a better deal scroll out to your channel check out the videos and sections i'm sharing let it your decide now respect your decision or actually you might see that in this video actually because in this video i will show you how to add the 3d intro video on your shopify store completely free and yes you heard that right completely free and by using your own custom code and without any applications and the best part is it works on every shopify team no matter if it's custom made or paid ones it will work for you just fine the only thing i would ask you guys is please hit that like button and leave me a comment below i do reply to each comment so I would reply to you as well and that will motivate me to share more free things with you guys also make videos based on requests just like this one because this is a request actually and I'm not even sure if he's a subscriber or not but anyway in this video as I said I will show you how to add the 3d intro video on your Shopify store and completely free and without any more talking let's just jump to it as you can see this is Shopify down team I always start with completely new team nothing on it each video adds more customizations but the video like 70 or 60 the team will be completely different this is fully customized check out these scroller logos with the fade at the corners or even better the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and it's highly customizable you can customize the colors for each notification as you can see this one is black or you want to see something that will make you more money check this out as you can see, this is the mouse cursor, right? I will act just like I want to leave or close the page. And this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out and by using your own custom code. And this thing will only show up once the user is trying to leave or close the page. And I got some amazing feedback on this actually from people who used it. However, 3D intro video. I know. Let me close this one. And let me, for example, I will not do demonstration on this one because the, this team is fully customized. It has so many stuff. I will do demonstration on the new one, which is Horizon. And also to make sure actually to show you guys that it works on every team. So let me close this one and let me open up Horizon team, which is this one right here. And we will do demonstration on it. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. The first thing you're going to do is click on the three dots to left to customize and click on edit code. But in my case, I'm doing it on Horizon, so I'm going to do it in here instead. It will open up the code editor for your Shopify team. On the left panel right here, you will see some files and folders and simply click on the one that says sections, the first folder that says sections. Click on it to be expanded, then click on the first option, which is add a new section. And you will see this prompt right here and simply name it the section. To make it unique, simply name it 3D-intro-video. Just like you see then click on done and by default it will create some code in here make sure to clear this remove the whole code in it so we can paste in the code for the 3d intro and we're even get the code for the 3d intro you need to hire a developer pay him wait 24 hours then test the code then get back to this video i'm just joking scroll that description box and you will see a link my website completely free again simply click on it and download a zip file and as i said completely free so again I would really appreciate if you hit that like button and leave me a comment below. That will motivate me to share more free things with you guys. But again, for the third time, I'll let you decide. So as I said, download the zip file and zip it first. Then inside it, you will find one that liquid file. Open it with any text editor on your computer. Copy the whole code inside it. Then simply pass it in here. That was very simple, right? Copy and paste. That's the only thing you will need in my tutorials actually. Just copy and paste. So click on save button. Wait for a couple of seconds. It's save it. Now we will get back to our team, then we add the section because this is a section and no complicated code editing or anything like that. Just some buttons that you're gonna use. This is the only thing you're gonna handle with code which we already did. So click on customize button, but in again for me, I'm gonna do it in here because that's the team I'm doing demonstration on. Then simply we're gonna add it on the home page. If you wanna add it on another pages as well, 
make sure to navigate to that page. But in my case, I'm going to add it on the home page only. And the next thing you're going to do is on the left panel right here below templates, simply click on add section. It doesn't actually matter where you add it, but I prefer to add it in template. Then you will see this section on how 3D intro. If you don't, simply use the search bar and search for 3D and here it is. Then click on it and you will see some settings on the right of the page in here as you can see. And the first one is the video you are at. What video? 3D. I will show you how to get that 3D video, no worries. Because I use some really good examples in this video. And below is the text overlay. And you can customize the text and so on. It has many options. But first, let me add the video and show you how it looks like. So you can see if you are interested or no. So, so here it is. I have one video. How I did make it? That's very easy. I used OpenAI which called Sora. You can use Veo for, from Google to make a video 3D. However, if you want something professional, I would recommend you to use a freelancers to make a, a professional 3D that suits your design. But for demonstration, I'm just doing a tutorial here. So I used OpenAI to create a 3D video about my channel as well. I'm gonna copy the link for it, get back in here and paste it in the video URL section then select it and below make sure you do the same for the video for the mobile because it's not the same dimension obviously i'm gonna use another video right here i think i have it for mobile which is this one right here i'm gonna paste it in the mobile section and the text overlay i'm gonna add the 3d intro just for demonstration make sure to type in something related to your brand I'm gonna resize this, uh, my favorite, around 90, 90, yeah, it looks good. You can actually add logo, not text, we will do that later, and you can resize the logo as well. And this is the content position, which is this one that we did add, the content text. You can position it in the center center, I mean the middle, you can top center, bottom center, and this is the button, skip button. Let me actually click on save and show you how it looks like, so you can see. So if I click on save, get back in here, reload the page and see what that will do. So let's just reload the page and check it out. This is how it looks like. It has a skip button as you can see at the top right corner. You can replace this anywhere you want. And by default, there is a, a settings that you can adjust. If the user didn't interact, didn't click, didn't do anything, it will be closed and show the Shopify store. And this setting is in here as you can see. Auto close delay. It's set to 10 seconds. Let me increase this one so you can see it more clearly. And this is the option, by the way, I said you can reposition the skip button, as you can see, top right, uh, top left, bottom right, bottom left. If I did like a bottom center, it will be at the center, uh, at the bottom center, sorry. Let's just reload the page and see that. Oh yeah, I just remembered something. Show once per session. This is an option that if you want to show the 3D intro only one time per session. In my case, I'm gonna do every visit. Then let's just click on save and it shows up because I did on every visit. Let's just get back in here, reload the page and here it is. Let's just hide this so we can see the button and here it is, as you can see, skip. However, if I clicked, it will display the video in a smooth way, as you can see, and check out how it as you can, <laughs> you already saw I don't have to talk. When it finished, it actually disappears or fades away in a smooth way. Let's just reload the page and do that again for one last time. One more time. And here it is. And the other settings we have here, which is the content position, I already showed you. By default, it's center center. And this one is the skip intro button text. You can resize it. And this is the color for the button. And this is the dark overlay opacity. In case the video is too bright, you can actually increase this one, increase the dark overlay, and it will be much more darker. Now, if I click on save, reload the page, as you can see, it's much darker. So the text will be more visible than the previous one. I have another very good example video I'm gonna use, which is this one right here. Let me copy it. Now let me reload the page and see. And this is how it looks like if I clicked and it will play the video as you can see. And to be honest, I like this one more. And here it is with the logo instead of text because I said you can add your own logo to the 3D intro. And that's how you add 
the 3D video intro on your Shopify store completely free and by using your own custom code and it fades in a smooth way as you saw. And if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.